arriving here tomorrow. Uh, we're looking at gusts right now peaking out at 40. I don't think anything more than 40 will be kind of fluctuating 35 to 40 tomorrow. Uh, the winds will be more from a westerly direction. Then the winds come down as we make our way through the week and then we're going to be watching by early next week. Likely the winds going to pick up again as we look ahead to early next week on your Monday. So here's how we break it down. The wind department gust to 40. I think between one and four tomorrow and you folks out on the east side of town will get the brunt of those stronger winds. So looking at 40 mile an hour gusts for you. Then we're going to be tracking a cold front that'll be coming through here Wednesday morning. This front is going to bring in some cooler air on your Wednesday. So we're going to say goodbye to temps in the upper 60s and have to welcome in some temps in the upper 50s. So about a 10 degree drop in those temperatures behind the front. All right, so here's a look at our latest future track computer model. And generally we're looking at clear skies. Yeah, we're going to be tracking some of those high level clouds. A decent amount of sunshine across the area for tomorrow. Again, the issue is just going to be the winds. That'll pick up the early morning hours look OK. The winds will start to build as we make our way towards the midday hours. So we get around lunchtime. We're certainly going to be in the breezy category. Rain chances going to leave out the chances for some rain until the weekend. So I know a lot of folks going to be shopping, maybe putting up Christmas lights around the house, putting up the Christmas tree if you haven't done so already. So some of your activities that involve the outdoors right now will put in a 20% chance of rain for your Saturday and Sunday. Let's jump ahead. We're going to look at December 4th through December 8th. Temperatures leaning above average for us here in El Paso and southern New Mexico, and especially more confidence the farther east you go into Texas. The farther west you go, you're going to start to run in some cooler temperatures. Get around Phoenix, and especially out there in California, Vegas, Temperature is going to be noticeably colder as we look ahead to later on next week. Now, when it comes to rain outlooks, we're going to be right around average, leaning above towards our north and leaning a little bit above average as you make your way towards the east. So here's how it looks overnight tonight. Temperatures down to 44. Again, tracking some high level clouds, 67 degrees tomorrow. That's out ahead of the cold front. The winds will be the biggest issue by tomorrow afternoon and into the early evening hours. You folks in Las Cruces, about 64. Before the front rolls through here, here's the next several days. 67, 59, cooler behind that front on Wednesday. There's Thursday. Here comes the weekend. Remember, we talked about the rain chances starting to increase a bit. The winds will also pick up later Sunday and into your Monday, Mark. All right, Doppler, thank you. We want to give a shout.